Forever, just as you predicted, it rained, it poured, indeed, it then flooded. Well, I guess I got to be right once in a while, right? Just once in a while. Good job. Yeah. Well, the weather was kind of hectic today. Quite a I went to North Carolina State University in Raleigh. That's where I got my degree in meteorology and actually started my career in eastern North Carolina in New Bern. Then I moved here in January of 94, and Myrtle Beach is where I've been for 25 years as the chief meteorologist. I thought when I got here I'd spend two or three years here and then move on to a bigger market, but it just grew on me, and I love the place, and now I can't imagine going anywhere else. I hope to finish my career here. We kind of come in each day, for me, right around 2.30 or so, depending on the day. Sometimes it's earlier, sometimes a little later. And I take a look at all the satellites and the radars and all the maps that we have, and I determine what the story of the day is going to be uh, going into the future. Like, everybody wants to know what the weekend is. So even on Monday, we're talking about what the weekend will be. But I prepare that story using graphics, so I have a good idea of how I'm going to, or what I'm going to talk about and how I'll transition to the next one. The kiss of death in weather is to memorize. Because if you, if you memorize something and you miss something during the course of that, uh, show, it completely throws you off track and you can't recover sometimes. So it's about having a conversation with somebody at home like your mother or your father and say, hey, this is what the weather is going to be like. Well, it certainly was chilly today with temps mainly in the 40s inland, but a big warm up is on the way. I'll show you who hits 70 and what's in store for the weekend coming up next. We actually get the forecast right for the next day 95% of the time. But people expect 100% accuracy, and that's just never going to happen with weather. So people remember the 5% that you miss. You know, we just tell people that uh, remember the times that we don't miss the forecast and let us know about that, not just telling us when we get it wrong all the time. But that's not always the case, of course. What did the twister say to the sports car? What? Let's go for a spin. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty stupid, right? <laughs> you can be great on television, but if you're not involved in your community, you're never really going to resonate with your community. So when I came here, I just said, well, I'm going to get involved with the community. I'll go to schools. And I really just absolutely love it. I do about 150 appearances a year at schools, civic groups, emceeing events. And I feel like I know these people because they come up to me. We have chats and everything like that. So it's, it's really kind of cool that I feel like I'm talking to my friends on television because I've met so many people. I just feel like... I love giving the weather, but I think my greater call or my greater purpose in life is to serve people. And if I can help them with an event or help them raise money with some sort of a charity or teach children um, tornado safety, I feel like I'm making a difference, a small difference in their lives uh, in addition to whatever I may do on television. So I, I feel like I have that, as we say in church, the servant's heart to do that. The darkest time of my life was when my youngest brother, Matt, passed away of cancer. So literally from diagnosis to death was only six days. And he was my youngest brother. I mean, um, he's the youngest one in our family. He was 31 when he passed away. But, you know, I write this long thing on Facebook every year about him and what a great guy he was. So that's always been very consoling to me, knowing that no matter how much time you have on this earth, the bottom line is eternity is everything. And I believe my brother's in heaven and I will see him again. And whether I live to be 55, 60, or 75, my time is going to come up and hopefully I'll get to see him again. So I try to use that as a, as a moment to, to let people know uh, that there's a, a greater thing in life than just living, it's living for the eternity. So. Now I want you to look into that camera and say, folks, we will be back right after the commercial break. We'll be right back after the commercial break. <laughs> oh, good job. Very good. You did great. Good job. You're so down. 